again everyone. Today I have a variety of acrylics to swatch for you. These are acrylic soft body paints for the most part from Liquitex. There is one so flat from Golden in the Burnt Sienna color. Most of these are earth colors. There is one where I'm trying to uh, push myself into fluorescence a little bit. I don't know if that's futile. Maybe I just don't like them, but I thought I would try it out. So the reason why my paper is already a little bit messy is because I was trying to film this video once before and I figured I would just take the seals off of the inside um, as I went for the, through the colors, but they were so difficult to remove <laughs> and I ended up making a huge mess. I got acrylic on my sweater that I'm wearing. Um, so this is now gonna be my painting sweater. But all that is to say, it was so difficult that I am definitely going to be swatching these for you because I basic, I didn't bleed for them, but I, uh, <laughs> I definitely hurt my fingers quite a bit trying to get the seals off the inside. Just a word of note, these are sealed super well. So be prepared for that if you get any of these Liquitex soft body acrylics. So these I purchased, um, in a year end sale, or maybe it was a year beginning sale from Jerry's Artorama. And um, normally these are fairly expensive per bottle, but there's always a pretty good sale around that time of year at Jerry's. So that's why I got these and I'd been wanting to try a bunch of the Liquitex soft body paint colors. So this was my opportunity to do that. And since they came in, I thought, oh, it'll be easy to swatch them. <laughs> Little did I know how much I would struggle, but I'm kind of glad that I went ahead and unsealed all of these because now they are ready to use. So I'm going to go ahead and shake them up. I did not shake them before I um, undid the seal. So I'll, this might get a little messy again, but so basically under here, there's a little spout where you can get, and I'll show you how that works. But there was a seal here, which was so, 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 uh, stick stuck on there. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what, how to say that. But the nice thing about this uh, dispenser is, assuming I can actually now get color out of there, is you can um, essentially squeeze it out. Okay, here we go. I think we're, we're there. We can essentially squeeze it out and you can just put a little bit on your paper, on your palette, etc. And then this just snaps shut again. Hopefully that will seal pretty well. Um, Part of it was I wanted to try that mechanism with how these are sealed. The other one is I wanted to try this particular texture of acrylic paint because I have not tried the soft body, um, which is very smooth and nice. So Liquitex and Golden are kind of, you know, tops for um, artist grade acrylics. And so this fluorescent pink is somewhat, um, translucent. I'm getting my little scratch paper here off to the side to rub off the excess acrylic paint. And then I'm going to rinse my brush and then I'll move on to the next color. So this, what you're seeing here is my, um, my, my extra paper to get off color. Okay. So I'm rinsing my brush off and so fluorescent colors are not light fast. Um, so that's, that's another reason why I've kind of shied away from them. But since I've been doing more sketchbook work, I've decided to kind of play around with these and see how I like them. So this says it's semi-opaque, but that is showing up somewhat transparently. But I did put kind of put a thin coating. You can see where, <laughs> where it had spilled on the paper before. Um, so that's like an additional layer of paint under there. Um, so this is semi-opaque and... Let's see, what is our, all of these should have pigment information on them, but I am not, light fastness, not, so this is not rated, which to me means it's probably not light fast. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing, not seeing the pigment information. Let's see if we go, when we go forward. Yes, yeah, so this one does have the pigment information. This just says series two. So fluorescent pigment, um, doesn't follow the same kind of general convention as uh, other pigments. 
that's so small you probably can't see that very well but like this is unbleached titanium which has pw6 py42 pr101 and pbk11 so it's interesting that there's black in my white so that <laughs> let's see um oh let me go ahead and shake this first again so that we can get that combined it may not really need much of a shaking because it even though it's soft body oops and there we go. That was a little more than I anticipated. Oh, this has just been <laughs> a practice in like, ooh, how how much how much can go wrong in swatching these paint paints? So I'm trying to overlap with this fluorescent to kind of show you how it covers acrylic. Basically, you can cover anything with acrylic. Um, as long as it's either semi-opaque or mostly opaque. This one is opaque. So that's why you're, that's what I figured. So that's why you're going to get that where it covers almost all of that other color up. I'm wiping off my excess color on my little scrap piece of paper here. Rinsing out my brush. So um, this is unbleached titanium, which is kind of like titanium buff. But I think I prefer titanium buff to this one. This one does seem to have a little bit of color. By titanium buff, I mean titanium buff in the golden brand. Um, this one seems to have a little bit more of an ochre tinge to it. So this next one is raw sienna, which is just one pigment. It's PBR7. I'm going to shake that up a little bit. And I'm just using a craft brush, craft acrylic brush, to swatch these. Try and not get as much. There we go. We only need a little bit. A little goes a long way, especially with um, artist grade acrylics, which is what these are. And I'm guessing based on that, no, it says this is opaque too. Maybe it's just because I didn't put as much. But that doesn't definitely does not look as opaque as this one. And because there is a soft edge here, I'm just gonna blend them. So that was raw sienna. And with acrylics, I like to rinse and then dab my brush off so I'm not getting a ton of uh, water in the color. You can, you can dilute with water, but um, generally it's a little bit better to use an acrylic medium. So this one is Indian yellow, which should be a combination. Oh no, it's just PY139. And this is supposedly a transparent color, yes. So you'll be able to see the marks under there. <laughs> That's really nice. Indian yellow is kind of my new favorite yellow in pretty much all mediums. I think I got most of that, but I'm just gonna brush a little bit that's left there. And acrylic paints definitely take a little bit more um, vigorous rinsing to get the color off of your brush. So this one is Red Oxide and it is PR101. And this is another opaque color. Okay. And these little dispenser bottles are really quite nice. Um, a heavy body acrylic would not be able to use that kind of mechanism because it would be too thick to go through there. And I'm trying to see, it looks like all of these so far have had an excellent light fast reading except for the fluorescent pink, which of course is probably fugitive given the fluorescent color. Okay, this one definitely seems to be opaque. Not sure I would agree with this one being opaque. That one seems more semi-opaque. Again, just wiping off my brush and I'm looking at these as they're drying and they're not super shiny um, I've noticed that generally the well this is probably an overgeneralization but it seems to me that the higher grade the acrylic paint the um, the less shiny it is I think craft acrylics tend to be more shiny 
Okay, so this is that golden so flat. So this is definitely gonna be a matte finish. I have not completely taken off the cap because I just wanted to get under here to get some color. So this one is Burnt Sienna. And you know, I have to say that I think between Liquitex and Golden, I think Golden is better, or at least more to my preference. Um, this one, let's see. This is obviously going to be flat in finish because it is so flat. That's the that's the um, the name of it. You can even see here how flat it is over this. So this is semi semi opaque and it is PBR seven and a light fastness rating of one, which I think is the best. And just spreading this one on just felt way more. Um, way more smooth than the Liquitex. Okay, so this next one is Burnt Umber. So a lot of these are earth colors, but that's generally what I needed in my collection because I didn't have a lot. So it's Burnt Umber. And a little goes a long way. So these are two ounce bottles, so they'll go a long way. And that's a really nice dark brown. Okay. So Burnt Umber, this one is PBR7, and it has an excellent light fast rating and is also opaque. Although as you'll see, opa opaque has a range because these three were all opaque and this one, it definitely looks opaque, but these two are less so. Okay, so the next color is a Hooker's Green Deep, which has PBK7, PG7, and PY74. This is opaque and has an excellent light fast rating again. And I got this darker color because you can always you can always make colors lighter with using either a medium to make them a little more transparent, tra transparent, an acrylic medium, or you can add some water, or you can add white to make them um, a little bit more pastel-like. But that's a really nice deep green color. And although I do like Liquitex, they are not, I mean, I think Golden is my favorite of the two uh, professional, main professional brand of acrylics that we have here in the United States. Okay, and then this last one is of course the old standby Payne's Gray. So this is one that I definitely like to have in pretty much all of my mediums because it's really versatile. And this one, I think, leans a little bit more black than the golden, which runs a little bit more blue. But it's still got that little bit of blue in there, which is nice. So this is PB29, PBK9, PV15. It is opaque. So again, we're seeing another, another range, <laughs> another thing in the range of opaque and excellent light fastness. So I'm going to put these up to the camera after I rinse my brush. Okay, yeah, and these look pretty matte. These are all dry up here now. Acrylic dries really, really fast. Um, so where are they overlapping and it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit more glossy. I think you can see that there. Um, and different pigments will have different levels of um, glossiness but as you can see this is the so flat which is pretty flat but even so these are not that far behind and then on the prior page here i had um, some matisse acrylics and these are heavy body as opposed to soft body um, but i would say the matisse as far as pigmentation pigment load 
it easily stacks up to um, to both Liquitex and Golden. And that's kind of interesting because this is a Burnt Sienna and this is a Burnt Sienna. As you can see, they're definitely different in the level of um, opacity there. All right, so I will label these off camera, but I just thought you'd want to see those and I wanted to go ahead and show them since I did, you know, end up getting acrylic all over myself in order to show them to you. So I thought I would go ahead and do that. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Uh, feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Let me know if you want to see more mixed media on the channel. I know I mostly focus on fountain pens and watercolor. Um, I, in my personal art practice, I've been getting more into acrylics and mixed medias, me media, not medias, plural. I guess that's still true. Um, so let me know. Um, I know it seems like people are less interested in the mixed media stuff, but I thought I'd throw some in there uh, for now, just at least for swatchings and, and things like that. But um, I certainly could do more uh, art with me videos and that sort of thing in mixed media because things dry a lot faster. So, um, and I don't have to do as much editing because of that. <laughs> and I hate editing. But um, just let me know your preferences and uh, we'll check in from there. All right. Take care. I hope to see you next time. But until then, have a great day. Bye.